All right, what's going on? I found some dude hanging out underneath the pump. Do you work here? No, I just come to hang out. <laughs> he, he moonlights on Tuesdays. <laughs> we got something cool happening here today. So these new hoppers, well, I guess they're not new. They've been around for about 10 years now, but to me that's new. They have this skirt which hangs down about two inches below where it's actually welded to the body of the hopper and it drags on everything. So there is a, uh, a Putzmeister update for trimming this to in increase uh, ground clearance or approach angle, if you will. Something we've wanted to do here for, for years. We're finally gonna get to it. Um, the other benefit of this is the hopper door here, the clean out door. You can't open it all the way because it hits on here. So when we trim this down, we'll be able to get this door open all the way. Makes it way easier to clean it off when you're washing out at day's end. Multiple benefits. Now that being said, with how low this hopper is right now, it does, by design or not, I'm not sure, kind of save the steps from dragging and getting destroyed. So what we're also gonna do, not today, but uh, in the near future, I'm gonna shorten this back step by probably an inch and a half. I'm thinking I'll just cut it right here bring this up, put a piece of tubular steel, a rectangular steel in between, and then splice it back together. Uh, but for now, we're gonna start with the hopper. So I'm gonna insert some photos of what the procedure is right here. And then we're gonna mark this out. David's marking it out. And we're gonna trim this down. I don't think we're gonna take off as much material as uh, is specified in, or is allowable in the procedure. We don't need that much. I just wanna get a good inch and a half of the back corner here. So I think we're gonna start, start up around this point, draw a line right to about there and we'll trim it there. Um, in the procedure, they still leave this corner low as such that it can be shaped into a holder for the, uh, for the clean out door. We don't use the holders anyhow. As you can tell, this one hasn't been used in quite some time uh, and we don't need another one. So we'll cut it right down and we'll take the uh, increased ground clearance over the hopper clean out door holster option. So, so that's what we're gonna do. And then our little apron here, washout apron that keeps the, uh, the washout splash from getting all the undercarriage. We'll just redrill that hole right up about here because this is gonna come across and intersect and we'll have to trim this, uh, this extension off for now. So we'll tune back in when we're, when we're cutting some metal. But uh, yeah, that's always been kind of a, a PIA with this pump especially. Do a lot of jobs up on hills, in and out of driveways and uh, maximum approach angle is of huge benefit to us so we're going to improve that here today to me that looks about about dang perfect i would say i guess we could use a tape measure but well, that's no fun well i measured <laughs> off the housing oh you did yeah no no that looks uh let's just see where you can see i'm close to these bolts so. oh yeah yeah i know if you cut down there we still have tons of meat so yeah see what it looks like inside here i mean there's a lot of a lot of concrete there but you get the idea <laughs> so no that's going to be just fine Beautiful. You know what, this is a bonus. I don't think I actually have to redrill anything. I'm just gonna slide this up to the next hole. Marvelous. Most amazing. Let's see if we get as fortunate on the other side here. Oh, we are going to as well. Beautiful. Are 
Beautiful. So the way it fits on the back here, it just slides over. You may or may not be able to see from this angle. But yeah, that's our little, little anti-splash hopper washout mechanism. Okay, so we've, we've raised this up, we've drawn a line. I'm gonna get some masking tape and I'll put a line of masking tape just as a guide for when we trim this. Be a little bit, a little bit slash a lot easier to see. Go from there-ish to there-ish. That is our guide. It's not the best, but it'll work. Let's take our cutting wheel all the way around. This is heavy gauge steel, so we're gonna eat through some cutting blades doing this, but I don't wanna take a torch to this. Not the best way to do it. Okay, so we're gonna take our cutoff wheel. We're gonna follow that tape line all the way around, going coast to coast, and then we'll uh, Check in here when it's all done. Jason, are you ready with your cutoff wheel? Yep. You have your work cut out for you. Yeah. Got the right man for the job here. Nicely done. So clean this up with the uh, the sanding disc. Nicely done. Okay, let's step back and have a look at your magnificent work. Big difference, right? Eh? Oh, yeah. Big difference. Yeah, that's nice. So yeah, now we're gonna have to, to shorten that step, but yes, the step is lower, but it does, it does flip up. And where it's lower is quite a bit ahead of that hopper, but either way, we should still take this down. I'm gonna say we'll probably take at least an inch and a half, probably two inches off of this. She's a mountain goat now. But yeah, that's so much better. And even now you can, even just from this side, we have way better access to clean off the hopper door before it was all skirted in. You could never really get at that. You'd have to do it from inside the hopper. So once we get that side off. You just need to change the board out. Straight handle instead of that bend. Yeah, you're right actually, right? There's no, no need to, or just take it off and, and hammer it straight. <laughs> That's a tough hammer. Right? You could warm it up and a torch and smack it. Yeah, we could, could torch it up. Yeah, because you're right, because now your handle is kind of your low point, but honestly where it sits, doesn't matter. Unless you're driving around with the hopper door wide open, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. But you're right, you could, you could, no, if you straighten it out, it's, it's gonna hit. You could straighten it out a little bit though, yeah. for sure. I like what we've done here. What do you think? Yeah. Good, yeah. good. You done good. We're only two grinder blades in, two cut off wheels in.
on. Okay. Amazing finished product. Here's the best part now. The best part. Oh my gosh, we can actually clean this off now. So much better, yes, yes. All right, here we go, finished product. Oh, so much better. So much better. She's a mountain goat now. Anyway, yeah, this is something we've been wanting to do for, shoot, I think we got that, that service bulletin at least four years ago now. We just hadn't gotten around to it. So I'm happy to have that done. Next step, pun intended or not, is to shorten the rear steps ever so slightly. But yeah, this is nice. I'm happy about this. Anyhow, how's it go? Be safe. Keep it shiny side up. Something like that. Over and out. Catch you on the next one.